All right, ladies and gentlemen, now for the only other monumental piece we have, the American Bar in Paris. Hemingway went there. Who didn't go there? Go. Dali went there. Ma Max Ernst went there. Uh, uh, we're, we're, uh, Gertrude Stein, Max Picabia, all of the great, uh, uh, Proust went there. I mean, all of the great, everybody went here. You know, the, the spirit of this uh, painting is the Aris Bar in Paris. Yes. And it is where there is the American election and so on. All the American people of Paris come. It's very typical uh, American American bar. But it's why the name of this painting is the, the Bar American. Of course. Of course. You see a kind of people, you see uh, enjoyment of the bar, the bottles. So, so what? And isn't this where um, they invented the drink, the Bellini? Hmm? Is this where they invented the Bellini? There's a cocktail. C C certainly, if you say so. Okay. Yeah, yeah certainly. <laughs> because I don't was it the Bloody Mary? Yeah. I as, you, as you know, I don't drink. Okay. So. <laughs> well, you too, my dog is not here because he cannot go in the... The dog can't go in, in the bar? He, he cannot go in the bar. What I, I want to do on this is capture feeling, time, and space. If we just come right across here with that dramatic use yeah. of paint, that inimitable style, that unique style that makes this Orban Huchette, and come all the way over to my side on the right. Look at this, you're, you're capturing that atmosphere. You're capturing atmosphere with color and dramatic movement. And just come straight down, uh, Charlie, into that crowd. Into that crowd, you can hear the chatter. You can hear the blend of international languages. You can see all of the fashions, everything that's going on. But then where I really want to end, we've come around in the letter C, coming on the bottles here, that's what you'd see, all of the champagne. And I think they're having red wine here. But then look at behind the bar. Yeah, champagne, champagne. there champagne. we go. That bar scene and the classic, the quintessential French waiter in the apron. Oh, and uh, again, folks, this is monumental. On the vertical, 40 inches. 40 by 60. By, by 60 the, the inches. 60 inches. We're, I, I don't... I, I can't I can't get my hands that far. I can't get my hands that far. And wouldn't it be great to have this behind your bar, above your fireplace, in your home? Uh, Chris, tell me. I'm, I'm going to talk business. Tell right, me this about is, it. This is pretty simple. This is one of the finest canvases that I personally have ever seen by Urban. This is just one of the finest works completely. It's a monumental size. It's 40 by 60 inches, just the canvas itself. The molding is 6 inches. This is just a magnificent work. And honestly, I don't think 25,000 is enough for the piece. Um, I, I think that with this painting called uh, Rooftop Selling at 20,000, which was nowhere near this size. And nowhere 30, near this complexity either. And by the way, this is about, and, and I'm really not kidding, if we could come in on this frame, this is about a $3,500 frame, folks. I, I'm really $100 frame. The frame weighs over 100 pounds. And if you haven't priced out molding like this at $90 a foot, um, with the linen lining and everything like that. And I don't, I don't want to talk about the frame, but uh, what I do want to talk about, if you're just tuning in, one of the things that we're seeing here is a fully documented, authenticated, referenced, referenced, the American Bar and Paint is a original painting on canvas signed by the artist. It is unique. It is directly from the artist. So if you want provenance, right beside me, here is the artist. We have Orban Huchette right here, all the way from Paris, in the studio right now, right here live at 25 thousand dollars and uh, I cannot imagine having an auction house put this on the block for less than 18,000 well, Ray you know I think this would be the pinnacle to any private collection I mean just any private collection anywhere when someone walks into your home and they see this canvas hanging on the wall there's just nothing to do but just be absolutely floored and impressed with how magnificent it is yes I, I, I truly agree, and what a, what a statement. If we could just put the, uh, try to put as much of the painting in you, as you can in the frame. Let's just go ahead and have one look at the, at, at the painting and, and try to get that feeling of what that would be like in your home. Again, 40 by 60 inches. 40, almost four by six feet. I mean, it's just 40 by 60 inches. And I, I'm just going to state the obvious. If we can just come right over here again, Charles, the winning bidder is going to get this on frame, and, but it's going to have your name on it. This is from a previous show. Uh, this was dedicated to uh, Toby and Gary, but the artist himself, and think about, think about that. I, I want you to think in a long-term, a generational sense. What will this be when we pass it down to your children? What will this be? Come in on these raspberry tones in here. Absolutely spectacular. 
Absolutely wonderful. Somebody started me off at about $15,000, $18,000 is where we should even be at just to open this painting. I'm going to ask for a 30 second clock. I need to move along. I've got about 10 more paintings. We're still coming up sure. in just a few lots. It is not a casting. It is unique. It is one in the world on the sculpture. That's going to be up at no minimum bid auction. This work of art right here at 40 by 60 inches. Ladies and gentlemen, absolutely a rare opportunity and I will tell you it looks so much better in real life than it does on my monitor I'm looking at the monitor off to the side of the screen let's go ahead and do a few more close-ups I've got five four we're twenty one thousand dollars off the mark write everything down check my prices we have the art his manager right here we have his staff here the clock's up I've got four thousand going once looking for forty one or more Four thousand dollars going twice, looking for forty-one or more, and I'm all done. I'm all in. I'm all fair. And I'm all square in three. Last call. In two. Don't miss it. In one. I've got phones lighting up everywhere across the room. I hope you're on the internet checking your prices. I've got forty-one only, and the hundred-dollar bid pulled the rug out. I've got forty-one now. It's gonna bid two. Don't get mad. Get even. I've got forty-one now. It's gonna bid two. Bid two. Bid two. Somebody give me twenty thousand dollars below retail. I've got forty-one going once. I've got. Don't let it get away for a couple hundred dollars. I've got forty-one going twice. Going twice. And I'm all in. I'm all done. I'm all fair. And I'm all square in three. In two. Last call. Last call. And one. Wow. Okay. So.